Hello guys, how is everybody doing? I'm having a great afternoon here. It's kind of sunny, cloudy, uh, but I thought I would get here and, and do a quick live to give you some, some updates on the channel and what's going on here in a flat cap house. So as you guys get in there, I will chat and uh, I have a written paper here so that I could actually follow through on the stuff that I want to say and I don't forget. I'm smoking. One of my favorites, Warp San Espresso. And I wanted to let you guys know that uh, it came back on. It was one of those that, uh, that it was a limited edition and it, it sold out last year and now it's back on. So, hey, don't miss out and get you some before it's gone again. It got high ratings on my scale and it actually made uh, my top five for the for last year. So definitely one for you guys to uh, to not miss out on. I see somebody got in there and said hi. Now, I may, I may have to get my laptop so I can see you guys because as soon as you can say hi, it goes away. I wish there was something to keep the, the chat on. Let me see. Let me see, because everything is kind of new now. Let's see, live chat, super chat, oh, live chat. All right, there you go. Central Cow Piper and Blake. Hey, Blake. And uh, Lurker Troy. Troy is always around. I'm glad to see that. So yeah, if you guys hang around here for a second, I'm gonna actually get the laptop so I can see your comments better and uh, and respond. Like I said, I was smoking uh, San Espresso and I'm using this calabash that I got from uh, my friend Mud Cat Piper and he is in Indonesia. I did a little bit of uh, pipes around the world on this one. I have no life. <laughs> Yeah, try it. <laughs> then I'm sure you, you are. Hey, Johnny. How are you, Johnny Osprey? Hey, <laughs> this is time to make jokes as I can't read, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to miss out some. So for sure, have fun there in the chat. And, and uh, because, yeah, I'm going to miss some of that for sure. <laughs> All right, so if you guys can hang on for a sec, hate to do this, but I'm gonna get the laptop. I should have it ready. But my wife is 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 is, for, is with her mom, uh, my mother-in-law, and um, I'm glad to see you're doing well, Johnny. So I took this opportunity to kind of sit here in the in the living room and, and have a smoke. Her mother-in-law is allergic to smoke. So I haven't been able to smoke in the house, so it's been a, a week and a half now we take her back this Sunday to the airport so I've been missing out on on having have been having to smoke out there in the porch it's kind of hot today muggy really really muggy in here so all right you guys hear me okay all right well keep yourself entertained let anybody else that comes in the chat know that I'm getting the the laptop so I can see you guys comment because I am going to miss them because they're going to fly by real quick, especially if we get more people in here. So I'll be right back. Give me a sec. All right, here we go. Let me put this in here. Now I just have to find my channel. Hopefully I'll find this soon. Home channel. There we go. There 
here I am. All right. Okay, perfect. So we have Central Cal Piper. We have Blake. Blake, I got your email, by the way. Um, I don't know what happened with the first one. Maybe um, maybe it got sent to the wrong place. Or maybe you know how it is with email. Sometimes they just get lost. But I got your email. I responded to it. Uh, we have Lurker Troy, who says has no life. Um, and then we have Johnny Osprey. All right, so welcome all. So one of the big things that you know we, we're gonna talk about is the gall. Um, we're gonna do a giveaway here. Been, you know, kind of putting it off. It was gonna supposed to be the 2,000 uh, subscriber giveaway. And, uh, you know, with things going on in life, we've been putting it off, putting it off. Um, but I wanted to kind of couple it together um, with Pipe Week. So for you guys that are here, and if you don't know about Pipe Week, please chime in so that I can we can all talk about it and learn about it. Hopefully as more people get on the stream and maybe after the stream goes uh, on repeat mode, um, you guys can kind of ask questions. But Pipe Week always happens on the week of Father's Day. So. Father's Day is that Sunday, and then, you know, throughout that week, all the way to the next Sunday, we do things having to do with, with the pipe. So it's really more about the pipe than the, than the tobacco, and we call it Pipe Week, uh, as opposed to International Pipe Smoking Day, which is more about, of course, the pipe smoking. And it started about two years ago, and there's all kinds of different stories of how the whole thing originated. But the important thing is that we're trying to make it something that eventually is going to be something big and it could be you know recognized and uh and you know the more exposure we get to the pipe hobby the, the better so uh bry report was the one who came up with the idea feel their bry report if you haven't subscribed to the bry report if you don't know what the bry report is let me know i'll put a little link below um and you know it's very easy briarreport.org briarreport.com um, it's two different publications one is more of a kind of a website with blogs and, and, and announcements and the other one is more like the old time uh, almost like a newspaper where you can click on shops and news that are going on in the pipe world and the cigar world uh, but, but it's, it's just an amazing job to keep you current on what's going on in the pipe world so Bright report. Anyway, so you know, years, two years ago we started it. Um, I hosted the show with with my wife, Lady Fire, and we did singing and 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 you name it. We make it look like an award show. If you haven't seen it, just look in my playlist and you can enjoy it. Uh, I, I even put some of the old time commercials. So if you don't like the singing, just kind of fast forward the whole singing part <laughs> and then get to the show. Uh, uh, some people even did their own commercials. Uh, so it was, I mean, it was well put. Actually, I'm surprised um, it hadn't had more views because it's really, it, it took a lot to put it together. And it was actually, I, I think, of course, I have a biased opinion, but I think it was just very entertaining and, and very well done. So that was the first year. The second year, um, we couldn't do it. So um, we had um, a Piper NYC, I think it is. He is very good with technical stuff, so I say, hey, you know, let's see if he can do it. Uh, he's better than me when it comes to putting technology and things that, graphics that come and go. So um, so he did it. He had some technical difficulties because he did it live. And so we came in and kind of held the fort and told people, hey, just hold on. And then uh, then it happened, but I, I think he did a great job. I mean, it's, it is very difficult to do something live. Um, so I, so now this year we're gonna try to do it again my wife and I and we're gonna try to do it live so we won't sing uh, some people didn't like the singing oh well you know I thought it was fun I, I made up a song having to do with pipes so and then I used the music from like a like a Broadway song but hey I know it's not everybody's cup of tea but um, 
we won't sing. What we'll do is we'll just sit. Uh, we'll do a live or we'll sit, uh, kind of rearrange here the house, and uh, we'll do everything kind of live. We'll go with the announcement. Uh, hopefully, I can get some of the people that presented to come on the feed. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set it up so that they can actually come on the feed, you know, just by hitting a link and then announce the winners. Um, the go-go dancers, yeah, that would be me. That would be me in a tutu, and I don't think you want to see that. Um, but anyway, because it's live, it, it, you know, it can run into technical problems. It's set for June 24th. Um, and again, if there's technical difficulties, oh well, you know, we'll, we'll just we'll just do it some other time, you know. Um, you know, it's 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 just how it goes. Um, but if you can set at set aside that time, June twenty fourth. Anybody that sees this, let us know. You know, if that's bad time. And for the presenters, especially the people that has done it all these years, Conversion Piper, um, uh, Picking and Piping, Matthew. Uh, who else did it? Uh, I'm drawing a blank. But anybody else that that did the presenting. Um, let us know if you can be available that Saturday, June 24th, to kind of come on the video. Again, it will be as easy as just clicking on the link, and uh, we'll do a trial run anyway. And then present. Uh, we wanted to do that because, of course, some of the categories, you know, they voted for our channel too, and I don't want to be presenting something that maybe I'm, I'm you know, I'm being voting it. Uh, so, um, so definitely we want, we want presenters to be the ones. I'm just the host. I'm not the voting or anything, you know. Uh, it's just like the Oscars, you know, there's a committee that votes. But this year we wanted People's Choice Awards. So let me talk about that a little bit while I say hi to some of you. So we had here come Stamper Tamper. How are you doing? I haven't talked to you for a while. I hope you're doing great. Um, and I see that. Thank you, Troy. You said that you that we did a great job. I appreciate it. It was it was hard work. Let me tell you, um, uh, doing a record is actually harder work than live because we had to kind of put everything together so it would jive. So for you that came in late, I'm enjoying again. Uh, Warp San Espresso is back on sale, so. If you missed out and you like a little bit of a coffee taste, this is not a goopy aromatic or anything by that means, but it does have a little coffee taste even though it has no coffee. Jeremy just did a great job with this one and the uh, and the other guy that they worked together on this Warps uh, series. All right, good, Stamper. I'm glad to hear that you're doing well. Oh man, it's going up. Let me get this going so I can have a few puffs here before I keep jabbering. So feel free to uh, to comment and, and say something there. That way, I'm not the only one talking, and I'll keep I'll continue with with the information I have here in a little bit. There we go. We normally have a, um, this is when we have a pop in the tin, so obviously we're not gonna have one this week. We haven't had one in a little while. Um, again, my co-host has been busy, but we have in the work some of the new uh, blends that came in, uh, Timeless. We're gonna be doing this one, hopefully. If you guys haven't tried it, we're gonna be doing the last of the, well, the last two of the birds, Paradoxical and Anomaly. And there's two more that came in new and I wanted to do a review. One of them was the, um, the Captain Black Platinum, so. We'll do that one too. We're about to go on, on a cruise for a week. So again, there'll be no popping the thing next week either. 
Um, but there's some exciting things happening next week, and that's what I'm going to talk about next. Let's see. We got Kim Kim. Bonsoir de France. Uh, votre oh, I, I cannot traduce all that. But I am glad you are here. Straight from France, Kim Kim. Oh, there you go. I will watch your video with the translator. It's always a pleasure to watch them with you and your wife, Miss Fire. Well, thank you, Kim Kim. I appreciate it. Did you get to see the video we did of Paris? If you haven't, definitely take a look at that. We were we were in your neck of the woods there, Kim Kim, um, in Paris, France, and we got to uh, we got to enjoy our time. I did not make it to the to the pipe store because I did not it was I did not know it was closed on Sunday and I planned to go on that Sunday to the pipe store there in Paris and it was closed so I missed out on that uh, have you gone to that pipe store there Kim Kim have you gone to that pipe store in, in Paris I, I was really looking forward to it next time I want to go to the Chacom pipe a place there and if I can go to the town where the where you know the the birth of the of the pipe of the briar pipe there in St. Claude that's on my bucket list definitely to do oh you live in the north of France okay so you're probably closer to that to that um to that um St. Claude uh, town that has a huge pipe have you been to it I would love to go, to go to it one day. All right. Well, good. Any recommendations? You let me know. Um, you. My email is flatcappiper at aol.com. Love to hear your recommendations. We're planning another trip to Europe and uh, we wanna we wanna hit some of these places. We'll try to stay a little bit. A prince, okay. I love that shape. Actually, um, that was one of my shapes that I kind of started when I started doing uh, the pipe hobby. The prince shape was one of my favorites. Then I moved into the, the curve shapes like uh, like the Nero pipe that I have. And then I got interested in the calabashes. And then lately, for whatever reason, I'm into the Lovat shapes. I don't know why, and I got a, I just order a Lovat. Um, it's, I guess you know, it just goes like that. You, you, you start changing taste of pipes, just like, um, just like you start changing, you know, taste with tobaccos and such so all right this one's run out let's do a different one a lunar pipe okay well, I'm going to do a little less talking for a little bit because I'm really enjoying this Warp Sun Espresso. Like I said, it was one of my top five for the year. So channel update. We're going to be gone for a week. So nothing going on next week. But when we come back, hopefully we have those ones that I mentioned to do for the for the popping the tin, the reviews, we're going to I have some pipes to do around the world. Hopefully, I'm going to get uh, with that next. The Goblin Mixture. Oh, okay. Hmm. I don't think I had the Goblin Mixture. What, what does the Goblin Mixture have there, Kim? Kim, tell us. I don't know if you guys saw my last review. It wasn't a pop into the tin. It was just a quick one. But that um, Aristocopy uh, Night Slice really, really surprised me. Um, it's a little strong on the strong side. So if you don't like something strong and, and a little bit spicy, then it won't be for you. 
but some people compare it to the new minister one uh, but this one is has less rough edges and I, and I and I really liked it a lot okay it's a new release of espresso excuse that it's the same it's the same uh, it's exactly the same there's nothing different from what I read they you know they didn't do anything different so it's the same and uh, Again, I, I would love to learn the details to see if if it's just, I don't know, they, 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 they were looking to see if that worked and they kept the batch or what's the deal with that? Because sometimes when we hear limited, we think that that's it. And now, you know, we have another one of it. Um, so I don't know. I mean, I don't want to say anything negative about, about that. Uh, in this case, it's actually good and it's worth it. <laughs> Yes, yes, Kim, Kim, you're doing great. No, you're doing great. Let me tell you, I, English is not my first language either, Kim, Kim. Uh, it's Spanish, so I, I do the best I can myself here, and I'm gonna make mistakes and say, you know, the wrong word. Sometimes I put a word that maybe is like a bad translation from the Spanish, but at least we try, right? It's, 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 it's good, you're doing great. All right, so back to the goal. So we're gonna do a giveaway, and the the particulars of the giveaway will come out next week. I'm gonna do a video, and Bright Report is gonna tell you the day that that's gonna come out. I'm gonna let him know, and that's gonna be the video where you can leave your comments where I'm gonna you know show you the actual prices of the goal. It's gonna be three pipes is going to be international uh, yeah southern spanish <laughs> yeah. i lived for a long time in both tennessee and alabama so but I don't, I don't think i have any tennessee and alabama accent but i've been exposed to a lot of accents i lived in japan uh, but i think i've kept my own little accent even though i've lived in all those different places i don't think none of those kind of stuck with me at all um so anyway, the goal is going to be international. It's going to be open to everybody around the world because the, the price are just going to be pipes. Now, if someone wins from the United States, I may throw in something else in there. But uh, international, you know, it's going to be pipes. That way there's no trouble. If where you live, they have problems with, with you know, something coming from the United States and being a pipe, um, Thank you, thank you, old Uncle Mike. Yeah, this is this is a calabash from Indonesia, um, by Mudcat Piper. Um, so anyway, if you if your country has problems with having the uh, something shipped from from the United States, let me know so that I can do whatever I can. Uh, tell me what are the tricks. I I sent some somebody something. I think he lived in Finland. Uh, this was a while back, one of my giveaways, and I think it took about three months. It, it was the poor thing. It was terrible. It, it, it was hell. It, it was a nightmare. So let me know so that I can do anything possible so you can get your your gift. And if you think it's impossible, then uh, I'll send like a gift card or something, and you know, so you can buy something at, at a at a place that you know you're gonna get it, and uh, and we'll give the pipe. To, to somebody else, but uh, I just want you to have your 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 price, all right? So it's gonna be open internationally. Um, it's gonna run until the, I'm gonna say the, let's see, until the 15th, the 15th of June. That way we have enough time to tally the votes and, um, and then the winner will be announced during uh, Pipe Week, which will be the week of the uh, Father's Day. I think it runs from the from the 19th through the 24th, something like that. Um, 18th through the 24th of June. All right. Again, the specifics will be there uh, next week. Will be the video where you guys can put your comments and all that. So how how do you how do you get into this goal? Well, 
I'm gonna tie this in into pipe week. So I'm gonna give you the kind of a preview so you can start thinking. Pipe week, there's categories that are already set from last week. You know, we have the, uh, the, uh, the funniest channel is one of the awards. Uh, the best blend reviews is another of the awards. Uh, the most creative channel is another of the awards. Uh, the best produced channel is another of the awards. And um, the most inspirational channel, etc. Uh, and so, you know, those are chosen, like I said, like the Oscars with, from, from a panel of judges that, that uh, you know, that they kind of vote and, and decide on that. But this year, I wanted to, and I spoke with Phil uh, about having a People's Choice Award, something where you guys can vote, okay? And I'm going to be doing the one tallying the votes. Um, what I chose for the two categories have nothing to do with me. That way, you know, you guys can think that I did some kind of uh, trick to, to make myself the winner. Um, and you will vote by doing a VR doing uh, a comment on the video that's going to come out next week or sending me an email to flatcappiper at aol.com and again it's going to be a video next week so you guys can can see the specific and um, if you do a VR obviously I'm going to give you more entries I'm going to give you three entries if you uh, do a comment or an email you're going to get one entry and for any of you and this is something I started a long time ago and some people have copied it and I'm glad they have. If this is your first ever video having to do with pipes, you get five entries. So if this kind of gets you into doing videos for YouTube, I'm gonna reward you with, with five entries for that, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna give me two different votes. And I know it's hard to just choose one, uh, so you can choose up to three. The first thing that you're going to tell me is, what is your favorite small channel? What is your favorite small channel? Yeah, I hope there's a lot of votes. And the small channel has to be 500 um, subscribers or less. If when you vote, they're close to 500 and they go above whatever, it's okay. I'm not going to be that picky. But I just set a number so that you pick something that's 500 subscribers or less. And I know it's hard to pick one, so you can give me three, and, and I'll, I'll put them all those into the vote. Three of your favorite small channels. This is a chance for you to give them a shout out, doing a video and saying, look, these are some of the small channels that I enjoy. Uh, they might be channels that not many people know about. So this is a chance to kind of give those people a little shout out that they deserve. Um, and hopefully, you know, we can do this every year. So every year, you know, there'll be a different winner because obviously it's going to be for small channels. And this will, that's going to be the first People's Choice Award. Very easy. Um, the second one is going to be what is your favorite artisan piper? So again, these are uh, people that make pipes that are, you know, not Savinelli or are not... Uh, uh, Stanwell or or Peterson. No, these are artisan pipers. I'll give you some examples in a little bit. You can find them on Instagram. You can find them on YouTube. Uh, one of the ones that you guys know a lot about is Simon from London, calling with Simon. Uh, these are just uh, individuals who make pipe. And again, I want to um, I want you guys to give me three. So I know it's hard to pick one. So just give me three. If you only have one. Fine. you know from one to three of your favorite artisan pipers so again this is your people's choice award so that every year we can have and we can give a nice kind of accolade to to these small channels number one and the second to this artisan pipe makers who who do a great job um, uh, Abe Abe Brown is one that I've bought some uh, seen Instagram and if you go to his he makes some amazing pipes that you, you guys probably don't even know about because he's just an artisan, you know, and he just puts his pipes on, on Instagram. I mentioned uh, Simon. Um, the other day I showed you a pipe from Orton. He makes those kind of creepy looking, it was like a venom pipe and, 
and uh, he uh, he makes the Halloween kind of boogeyman pipes. Um, so anyway, I want you guys to kind of recognize one of those uh, artists and uh, pipers that are on on Instagram, and they do a great a great job. Uh, there's one called Garage Made Pipe Tools, and I I, I think that's such a cool name. Um, I just commissioned a pipe from him to. Uh, I, I wish I had enough money to, to kind of help all of them out, and because I think they they definitely deserve it. Um, and you know, I love the um, the the brand pipes. I mean, I love Savinelli. Um, I love the one that is made in France. That's that's actually um, they they have the most beautiful boxes. Uh, now now I'm, I'm drawing a blank on the name. Um, will come to me um, I love Stanwell um, I love some of those but I also want to give a shout out to some of these artists and pipers okay so so far let's see let's see what we have here we have Uncle Mike saying that heck of a lot of channels to choose from yeah that's true uh, where is your pipe I enjoy a cup now okay Jax yeah this is this is from Indonesia I made a pipes around the world and uh, Mudcat Piper, he's in Facebook. I commissioned him to send me this all the way from Indonesia. He uses a different type of wood. So again, uh, just look at that video I made. So I don't take a lot of time here explaining all the different woods for the that he used to make the pipe. Uh, we have Blake. He said, I have too many hobbies. <laughs> Motorcycle pipes, guns. Oh, Lord, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, expensive pipe. Yeah, you don't you don't have to buy expensive pipes. Now that's another thing about these artists and pipe makers. Um, some of their pipes you're gonna be surprised. Um, I've paid just a little over a hundred and sometimes under a hundred dollars uh, for some of their pipes, and they are as good as and as beautiful. And some of these more expensive pipes. So don't think that because they're artisans, they. Um, they're expensive also you can you can work with them you know there you know there's someone that you can talk to or dm and work out a deal and say hey you know i'm looking for this within a budget and and uh, you can't do that with some of the ones that already have a set price obviously in in you know in one of the online stores so uh, so that's another good thing all right let's see uh all right so you're gonna put a uh <laughs> thank you Kim Kim thank you for being being here and yeah put up put up I would love to see it and again you can send me an email I, I'll write it in here so you guys have my email the ones that don't don't have it let's see wait a second I'm going to have to put my glasses because this is too small. Hey there, Simon. I was just talking about you. I was giving you a, a little bit of a shout out there, Simon, because one of the People's Choice Award, and actually I have to mention this idea came because Simon mentioned it to me last year after the awards, uh, and I thought it was a great idea to have a People's Choice Award. So. Uh, one of them this year, Simon, is going to be uh, for the favorite artists and pipers. So I was actually giving them an example that you are one of those uh, artists and pipers. And uh, people are going to be able to vote. They're going to vote for three. And, uh, and I'm going to tally all the votes and, and, and pick a winner this year. So I'm glad you're, you're here. You guys can go to his channel and see what I mean. Because he actually does videos and shows him making the pipe, which is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So let me see. Let me see if I wrote my email right. Fatcatpiperao.com. Okay, good. Because I can't see well. So there you go, guys. Anybody that wants to send me an email, comments, um, anything that you that you have um, about this this year's Pipe Week Award. Again, I'm just the host. Uh, Bright Report runs it. They, you know, their their voting are done by some judges for the other categories. And then this year we have these two new categories that I'm gonna run, and they're the People's Choice Award. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna make a video next week, and we'll repeat all this that I repeated today, so you guys can have it, um, and and we'll give a chance for 
for everybody to vote uh, for these two categories. So. All right. BPK Pipes. Huh. I don't know. I don't know. Is this the guy from... That's not the guy from... Um, I think it's from Ireland, right? I know there's a guy from Ireland that does an amazing job. I love his pipes. Oh, yes. Well, you're lucky. Oh, yeah. Actually, I was there. Oh, oh. Uncle Mike, I, I I was I was watching that when you when you won that the other day. That was just the other day. Uh, Mark at TPI, I think he won it, and then he said, "Hey, you can give it to someone else," and then you ended up winning. Yeah, you're so lucky. Yeah, I only have one LCS Briar pipe from Simon. I love it. I wish I could buy more, and I think when I go to visit England, I'm going to find him and, and that way I can save on the shipping and say, hey, what you got? I'm going to buy whatever you got on on on, on, on store there and then I can just go there and grab it. <laughs> the, the, the translation from the from the British pound to the dollar is, is usually not good for me. All right, well, I'll check it out. Um, Jax, Jax Hubert, I, I'll check out um, B... B, BPK pipes. Let me write it down and I'll check it out later and see. But there you go. That's one that you can mention to get in the goal. You can you can give a ch uh, shout out to that one. You know, that's what this is all about. BPK pipes. I'm going to write it in here so that I don't forget. Don't know yet. Um, what I'm gonna do, Simon, is I'm gonna this time instead of just spending it in one place, I'm gonna do a uh, one of those kind of tours so I can go to different ones. And London definitely is one where Lady Fire wants to go, so uh, I'm I'm gonna be at least spend maybe two or three days there. So I'll let you know. I'll let you know. It, it won't be a surprise. You will know for sure because we will have to plan it well ahead. Definitely well ahead. I, I've been actually out of a job for now a year since I moved. It's going to be a year right now. So it might be sooner than later. I've been using this time to travel because once I'm working, it's very hard to get off work. Um, so, I, I, But I will let you know, that's for sure. <laughs> you you will be the one to know. I'll either DM you on, on Instagram or, uh, or I'll let you know somehow if I'm going to be around your neck of the woods. Are you in actually London? Um, is that where, where you reside or you reside somewhere close to London, Simon? Let me know. Thank you, Simon. Thanks for, for dropping by. And um, yeah, London. Perfect, perfect. Because that's, yeah, we'll definitely go there. Definitely go there, and thanks, Simon, for doing, uh, for dropping by, and for, for doing the great job you do of doing those um, lives of showing how you make the pipes. I think that's so unique, and I'm glad we have someone like you in the community for sure. All right, he will get my vote. I'm not gonna vote for this people's choice because obviously I'm gonna be hosting it, but Simon will definitely will get my vote for, uh, for my favorite. Artisan piper since uh, pipe maker since he shows us right there how he makes it. I think that is that is amazing. All right, let's see. Um, okay, there you go. Okay, I'll let you guys talk there for a little bit. I'll, I'll keep lighting my pipe, and then we'll talk. Does anybody have any questions so far about Pipe Week or the Go or how to get into the giveaway? Again, it's gonna be an official video next week but this is your chance to ask me and i can respond right away versus being on the comments obviously when the video is over you can get on the comments and talk to me too Man, I really love this plan. I'm telling you. Mm. 
And I'm gonna sip it up for a little longer here so I can, because when I talk, it goes away. Who smokes a cup today? I, I like smoking the cups. The, the only reason I haven't been smoking cups is because since the move, I have a lot of things in, in boxes and I just been lazy. And I left the cups on the boxes and I have only been smoking maybe no more than 10 pipes. But when I had everything out on the walls in the house that I had previously, they, 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 got, they got definitely a, a, a rotation for sure. Now I also have, and you know, this is something where you can go kind of in between, um, some the, the corn covers that have been custom made and some of them, you know, have a little bit of both worlds. You know, they have the, the actual cob um, bowl, but in the stem and all that, it'd be other materials and sometimes even briar. Uh, and, and some of those are, are great. Wish I had one. If I could think of it where I have it, I will smoke it a lot. Um, someone did a great job and I can't remember, but he's also on Instagram uh, making that one for me. And uh, it's it's gorgeous one and it, and it just smokes amazing, very, very well. So you have peppermint mocha in yours. Wow, all right, that sounds, that sounds great. Well, I think I smoked this all over. Let me see. So I just see a lot of ash in here. I may have to go for my pipe number two. I have some old Toby here waiting on, on the on the on the batter's deck. <laughs> That's gonna be my my second smoke right after this one. All right. It is South African blend. Fox. That's what it's called. Fox. All right. So, moving along. No questions about the goal yet. Okay. I'm sure we're gonna have some questions when the video's over. So there's other goals going on. Oh, there's my wife. Hello, Lady Fire, how are you? How's the shopping going there in the mall? If she says I have to go pick her up, then, then this is the end of the live. <laughs> I have to be really careful what I say, right? I may get in trouble. So other goals going on. Uh, there is a goal by Captain Kirk. Check him out. There's a goal by Southern Piper. Check him out. There's a goal by Briar Blues, and I think he put out an announcement. There's only eight days left to get into that one. There's a goal by Red Coat Return. Oh, he always has... Uh, oh, not yet. Okay, good. I'm good, guys. I'm good. Um, Red Coat Return always has amazing prices, so definitely check him out. Red Coat Return. And there's also a secret goal, and I can't tell you because, of course, the person doing it, he doesn't want anybody to know unless you actually see his channel. So he didn't put goal on the title or anything, but... Um, but I think that's a great thing because sometimes people take advantage when they see go and they just go in there. But hey, there's right now a go going on in the YTPC that the only way to find out is if you go and watch this channel. So if you want to get in on that one, you're going to have to find out yourself. If anybody here in the channel knows, don't say it. All right. Don't say it. Don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. All right. So there, my wife, Lady Fire, got in there and everybody's saying hi. Great, so I think I saw Uncle 
Hold on, come Mike saying, how do you get in the goal? Okay, so I'm going to say it again. Um, and again, the official video will be in next week. So so watch for it. And that's why I'm going to show you the prices, which is three pipes. Um, and uh, the first two are going to be brand new. The third one, I haven't decided whether it's going to be something brand new or a nice state pipe. So, But the first two will be brand new pipes. So, and it's international. And how you get in is you're going to do a VR. Uh, a comment on the video that I'm going to put next week or you send me an email because this these things are actually votes for pipe week and you have to give me two things one your favorite um, small channel favorite YTPC small channel less than 500 subs and again if they just happen to go over it that's fine. I'm not going to be that picky, but I just picked the number so that you know what I mean by small. Less than 500 subs, and you can give me three. And all, I'm going to put all three into the actual uh, voting to see you know, who comes out the winner. This will be given during Pipe Week's Award, and every year it's going to be called the People's Choice Award. One is going to be the favorite small channel as picked by the YTPC, and the other one is going to be your favorite artisan pipe all right i think i think the video is going out for some reason so hopefully you you guys hang in there but that's it on um uncle mike yeah uncle mike was asking uh again just just keep keep um keep on the channel so you know uh next week i'm gonna put out the the video but i i just wanted to give you a preview so you start thinking and for you guys to know that's going to be part of the People's Choice Award for this year's um, YTPC uh, Pipe Award. And it's gonna, they're going to be live on June 24th, which is a Saturday. Uh, hey, there's Scott. Um, how are you, my friend? Scott, I hope you're doing great. Here we're talking about all kinds of things. Um, I have a list here so I can go down before I have to go and pick up Lady Fire who's at the mall with her mom. You know, I've been having the mother-in-law stay with us and I saw that she got on there so I gotta be careful what I say. If not, I get in trouble. No, but it's been great actually. It's been really good uh, having her over and having her kind of enjoy her mom. But we're taking her back to to Puerto Rico on Saturday and we're gonna go on vacation ourselves so okay any questions again on the on the go any questions on pipe week stay tuned so you can have more um, so you can have more information on it all right I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna dish out some of this so I can see if there's anything left here for this smoke all right secret is good okay thank you Blake thank you for keeping the secret good I'm glad some people do that that they actually do a go only for the people that actually go to the channel because that way you get the people that actually are are, are you know are you true viewers to to be in on the go So I think that's a cool thing. So in South Africa, I'm hearing there from Jax that you own you get a lot of Peterson blends. Man. That's sad that you, you don't get to have some of the more variety. All right. Oh man. That's the only bad thing about doing a live or doing a video is like, you don't get to enjoy the smoke as much because you talk and it goes out. This is a good one. I'm gonna take it with me on the trip to pick up my wife so I can keep enjoying it. All right, so 
moving along. So another thing that I wanted to talk about was about super thanks. I had someone uh, send me an email and approach me about how to support the channel. And I had someone already uh, kind of out of the blue um, use the super thanks. Uh, you super thank is not available when I do a live. On a live, you can actually tip. You know, there's something there you can tip. But when you do a video, there's something on the bottom that's a super thank. And so I, I rather imagery uh, one day on one of the videos, she did that and gave us something there. And I appreciated that. That was, that was really nice of them. They asked me how to support the channel. Well, we've been doing this for a while now. We never asked for any money or anything. This is free. We don't have Patreon or anything like that. But if you want to support and you want to show your appreciation for what we do, that's one way to do it. It's, it's, it's an easy way. It's, you just go there and just on the super thank anywhere from $1.99 to whatever. Um, but that shows, of course, that you know that you want us to con us to continue doing this. Um, definitely, <laughs> for me, uh, you know how it is. All you guys that that get in trouble with your wife because you do all this spending, buying the blends and buying the pipes. I try to buy blends, of course, to review it for you guys. We get some from the uh, from the people, but most of them, ninety percent, I buy myself buying pipes uh, so it is an expense that of course my wife gets on me uh, so anything that is you know that supports the channel is is definitely welcome it might even keep me out of trouble so that's a way you guys can contribute just to answer that email that I got sent that's what I told them to uh, and again on that super thanks anything from a dollar 99 and up and what I'm gonna start doing I think I did on the last video is at the end of the video I'm gonna kind of put there you know, thank you, super thanks supporters, and I'll put your name and kind of keep kind of a running tally of anybody that has supported the channel. Just to again, you know, just show our appreciation for you guys. One is wanting us to to keep going and wanting me to not get kill my wife for spending so much money. Um, it is it is it is an, an expensive hobby and it's also expense to kind of run and do things and do shows and go to the lives and buy stuff so so anyway and again if you don't do it it's fine because i've done this for free and i will continue to do it because i enjoy it. i enjoy doing what i do all right so let's see so many choices here in the, yeah tad is real that's for sure okay kim thank you thank you for showing me the picture i'll check that email as soon as i'm done with the live um Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. So, talking about that subject, do any of you, uh, I know if my brother was, a, and he's not a pipe smoker, but my brother, he's a realtor, and he's very good with budgeting for things. Uh, are any of you like that? Are any of you um, where you budget certain amount for pipes a month or for tobacco a month or a quarter or whatever i would love to hear from you i'm not i'm i'm, I'm not a person that that budgets i just kind of you know buy things as they come new because of course i want to review it for you guys or i buy pipes that i like or something that i want to you know if there's an artisan that i want to talk about then of course i'll buy their pipes if there's somebody that uh, like um, our friend Yanis that he's from uh, from a place that is not well known, I, you know, want to kind of buy his pipe and then you know show that to people. Uh, so, how about you? Do you guys budget? Do you guys uh, like to kind of set aside a certain amount of money per month? Uh, I would love to hear about that. I know my brother. That's what he would do, cause he's so organized. I can see him setting up. And saying okay this is how much and then you know and then I will have to wait until the next month before I I buy any more tobacco Jack says you would love to visit you know what uh, we had somebody uh, the Las Vegas pipe show we had people from Australia come we had uh, Jose from Chile Chile all the way from down there in South America come to the show uh it was great i mean i think if you if i mean i'm sure it's just expensive but um I, I i would highly encourage it i think you will have lots of fun 
uh, meeting some of everybody, you know, maybe some people that you see on YouTube and and just seeing, you know, the tables and uh, I, I think it would be well worth it uh, to make a trip to one of the shows. Um, I've been to almost all of them um, that I can remember. I haven't been to the Texas one, but I've been to the Chicago, to the Las Vegas, to the Mule Town, to the uh, Columbus in Ohio, and to the Richmond in Virginia. And I can say they were all great. They were all great in their own way. Uh, from something as big as Chicago, where there's so many tables that you kind of go cross-eyed, to something like the Mule Town, which it was only about two rows, but it was great because it was kind of a small little place. I got to interact way more with people there. Uh, it is inside of a of a kind of a cigar lounge looking, you know, it's also, it's Briar Works. It's a place where they make pipes and they make uh, blends and they also have like a bar and it was just a great atmosphere. And they have some, um, some food carts outside and, and uh, it was, I was just great. I, I, I like that lounge kind of feel. So, you know, that was the smallest one that I've been to. And then, you know, Chicago and Las Vegas being the big one. And they were all great. I I highly recommend it for anybody, you know, to kind of maybe save up and, and do one of those shows at least one time, you know, in your lifetime. I think you, you won't regret it. I think you won't regret it whatsoever. Okay, let's see what else is going on here in the chat. Um... So Mike says he would love to go to the Las Vegas Pipe Show because he's in Phoenix. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, Jax, uh, definitely do that. Um, I think lately, I mean, I don't want to say one show is better than the other, but lately the, the Las Vegas Pipe Show has been the one kind of with the most umph and momentum. So um, I will pick that one. If you want to start with one, you know, that's, I, I don't think you can go wrong with that one for sure. So Johnny says he's a horrible, impulsive buyer. I feel you. I feel you. Me too. Especially when stuff is on sale. Man, the other day, I think it was Pipes and Cigar. They sent something where they gave me, I don't know what it was, 10 bucks. And then they gave me that I only had to spend 20 some dollars when then it was free shipping. And I was like, oh man, I just can't beat this. They're giving me 10 bucks. I don't have to buy a hundred dollars worth i only need to buy 29 dollars worth and and they got me i mean it, yeah sometimes those things are, are hard to 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 pass up for sure sometimes some of these blends go on 20 percent off i mean that's that's quite a bit that's that, that's quite a bit and uh and so you can you can save a lot when that happens so yeah i'm i'm back i'm back so Mike says he loads up on the online shopping cart, but then I realized I'm broke. <laughs> ah, I've done that too. I've done that too. I've done where actually <laughs> I put all this stuff on the cart and then I said, you know what? I really don't need all this. And so I leave it there. I don't check out. And then I, I'm, I get all these emails for weeks saying, hey, you know, we saw that you put stuff on the cart and you forgot about it. And I'm like, no, I didn't forget about it. I just realized I need, I need to save up some money. And um, so they, they will keep sending to me for a few weeks saying, hey, we saw that you left something in the cart. Um, I, 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 I kind of imagine, you know, if you did that in a, in a real shop where you brought the cart and, and after you, you're right there at the checkout, you said, you know what, maybe I don't need all this. <laughs> you just leave it there. That's how it feels like to me. Uh, but yeah, sometimes that's the best decision, you know. Um, yeah, the Chicago Pipe Show is a good one too. I almost made it this year, but something came up last minute and it just happened to be on the same week that my wife, Lady Fire, had her finals and uh, even driving last minute, which was probably a 16 hour trip, that, that just didn't that just didn't work. So, but uh, um, I want to make it next year if I can. I would love to make it since that's the one that I've the one that I went to that has been the longest. Um, the other ones that have been more recent for me, I wanted to make to that one again, to the Chicago Pipe Show. And then Mule Town, just because I enjoyed that little small. So I'm looking this year at those two as some of my 
go to, but I'm going to see if there's another one during the fall that I can go to, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, got too many things need fixing here. Yeah, that's that's the other thing that you we need the money for other stuff. And, and you know, like I said, this this last year, this 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 marks this month a whole year of me not going to work. Um, instead of buying less, I actually have bought more more stuff uh, than less. So it's kind of crazy, you know. Sometimes even when I should kind of cut back, I actually have had more more time at home. So more time to look at the things and 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 actually end up buying more. Um, Kind of did a backwards things there and hey that's sometimes how you get in trouble for sure so but being off has also given me time to think you know the stuff that i enjoy doing i think anybody that uh worked all their lives you know i've worked almost wow i'm 50 some years old now i would say probably um since i was at least since i was 16 so that is uh 34 years of my life and in my career that I fun. no Alexa I'm not talking to you and in my career at least almost 30 years of, of what I do which I am an occupational therapist but by being off you know sometimes you think you know what do I really enjoy doing and uh, and I wish you know I could do some of the things I enjoy doing and make money because I, I, I that's what I would do uh, sometimes you want to do things that you really enjoy doing um, but sometimes that's just not the case. All right, wait, my wife says, my oh, my wife is chiming in. It's expensive to go to every show, especially when we don't make it. <laughs> uh, I know, I know, my wife, there she is. She's chiming in. She gets on me of that uh, because it's definitely, it is an expense. And again, she knows and, and I know. Uh, I started doing this because I love doing it. Um, and like the ones that have seen my introduction video from many years ago, I didn't have anybody that smoked a pipe. So that was my way of kind of talking to you guys and interacting with you guys was by getting in here and, 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 and having friends and knowing people that smoke a pipe since in the little town of Gunnersville, Alabama, there was just no pipes to be seen anywhere around. So. Uh, and then my wife, when I met her, she she's done it because she she sees that I like it, and she ended up liking it too and and, and enjoying it. And uh, I'll tell this story. I've told it a thousand times. When I would go to visit her, or her boyfriend girlfriend, and she's she loved the smell. I said, "Oh, why have you been smoking? I love that smell." And I'm like, "Man, this is a keeper right here. This is this is somebody that likes the smell of of the pipe smoke, and that's you know that's." unusual so that was definitely a check mark for me and i said i i am definitely gonna keep this one and make her my wife because this is great and then after that of course you know the rest is history how they say um and we have enjoyed this hobby together but she does get some me because it is it is it is quite an expense all right let's see Oh, Blake. Okay, Blake, you're a PT. Awesome. Yes, yes. Well, yeah, that's, that's, uh, as I'm an OT. So we definitely has, we have work, we have worked together. But you know what they say about us therapists and, and met and people in the medical field, we are the worst patients because we know the stuff we need to do, but we don't do it. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm number one on that. I know exactly some of the things I need to do and, but then I don't do it. I, I, I know I need to do some stretching and stuff for my back problems and and then I just don't do them and then I walk like an old man uh, if after I'm sitting for a long time so uh, but anything hey anything that you have yeah send me an email I would love to hear it uh, sometimes I just need you know that someone telling me something and, and I, I may learn something new so don't don't yeah don't hold back give it to me uh, send me an email and tell me some of the stuff I need to do for my for my L4 L5 uh, old fracture there and maybe I'll maybe, maybe I'll take your word and I'll do it and I'll and I'll actually get better so I really appreciate it Blake for sure uh, 
All right, Monko Mike, lunchtime. Thanks for dropping by, my friend. Um, all right, thank you, Scott. Going back to work. Yeah, don't get in trouble. Thanks for dropping by. Woo! Oh, yeah. That's right, Blake. And, and I wonder if some of the stuff that hurt me was actually doing some transfers. I, I transfer people that are well, extremely, I think um, one of my patients, I think he was over 600 pounds and he was, it was something else. I was afraid that if he fell, I, I, I know for sure I wasn't gonna be able to get him, get him out of the floor. But I wonder, yeah, I wonder if some of that has aggravated, you know, our backs by being in our profession and having to, to, to deal with, yeah, transferring heavy people and doing some things for heavy people for sure. You, <laughs> we picked it up the floor. Oh yeah, well, I, I, I picked up some, but you know, some that could help me so I can go behind them and they can help me with their legs. But this guy, if he fell, mm -mm, I, I was gonna need some help for sure because he was not as strong to help me. Uh, we would have been in trouble. <laughs> and the house was so small that that it would have been like even, yeah, it would have he would have been like stuck between the bed and 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 the and the wall. So yeah, it, it was a risky one, but but we did it. My channel and smoking saved my sanity. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Blake. Definitely, anything that I can do to help, uh, I I mean I'm glad to do it and. And like I said, um, you know, I enjoy what I do, and that's what we do it. That's what we do it because we enjoy it. We like interacting with people, and I and I actually feel bad when it's been days and weeks that I haven't been able to do a video or to um, or to do a live and talk with you guys. I was trying to find a day. Um, there was a time where we were kind of doing lives consistently uh, every week, and 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 it's hard because. I don't want to interrupt other people's lives or you know be at the same time I just it's just me and I feel bad if I do something like that but uh, I was thinking of Sunday I, I see that not a lot of people are there on Sundays Sundays you know after church and at night usually is it's a time that I kind of uh, I don't have many things planned you know I do things throughout the week and of course Saturdays so um, I was gonna give it a try and see if I can uh, if I can get in on a Sunday afternoon, um, and and go live and do something like this, and kind of get here and talk and we we'll, we'll kind of pick some subjects and and talk about it and uh, and have a pipe together. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, you guys that are now on the live and anybody that's that sees this um, pre-recorded later. If Sunday afternoon is a good time, um, uh, SNF is a skilled nursing facility. That's where uh, Blake works. Skilled nursing facility. Uh, you know, as they used to call nursing homes, there's actually different types, and that one is, you know, those people have the services of an occupational therapy, a physical therapy, nurse, uh, et cetera, et cetera. I'm looking maybe to working in one of those or an orthopedic place or the veterans hospital. That's where my mom worked as an occupational therapist for over 30 years. So I may just follow in her footsteps and go work for the VA. Uh, I put a few, um, actually, there were, it's actually an army base in South Carolina and Kentucky. That, I did an application for that just last week. Don't know it's gonna pan out, but I always like working as being a Navy man myself. I always like working with the military, so we'll see if that works out. Then I'll be relocating to South Carolina. Or hey, mechanic is great, Jax. I wish you lived close to me because I am a terrible mechanic. So I mean, I will, I will, I will, I will trade anything for knowing a little bit about cars for sure. Um. So yeah, I um, depends on where I found a job. I may be relocating from Florida to another state, um, and we'll see. We'll see how that goes. If not, 
then I'll stay here in Gainesville, Florida and continue to to maybe do some travel work or um, or find something locally. Um, we'll see what's going to happen. So guys, uh, thank you for joining me here for a little bit. I wanted to at least be here an hour and talk with you guys. I have to um, pick up my wife, Lady Fire at the mall. I don't want her waiting too long. Uh, but if you have any questions of anything that we talked about, feel free to comment, to send me an email. Uh, and then hopefully next week, uh, watch out for that video so you can get in on the giveaway. Uh, again, thank you for the people who have supported the channel. And thank you to Airada Imagery for giving uh, us that little super thanks. It kind of felt good. Um, and we will see you guys on our next uh, live or our next video. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll do another one this week. You know, something something fun so you guys can enjoy a video before I go on vacation. All right. Tip my hat to all you pipe smokers and um, oh, what time is it here? It is, uh, what time is it here? Let me get my glasses. It is 3.30 p.m., 3.30 in the afternoon p.m. So for that Sunday live, I was thinking of being like this, either like around 3.30 to 5 p.m. So um, if that works for you guys, kind of check out your 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 local local time and let me know if if that's a good time on sunday afternoon uh late afternoon uh not early afternoon okay see you guys have a great day see you in the next one bye